Hey everybody, uh, this is Hina. Just woke up from another dream. Um, I was talking to the Lord last night. I was like, Lord, what's happening in the middle tonight? Is something happening tonight or tomorrow at the latest, you know what I mean? Because with all these signs God's giving me, okay, I still have hope from now to the end of the year. But if it doesn't happen, I will take all my dreams. You know, I was discussing with the Lord, like, like, if I believe this is what from you and and it doesn't come to pass, then I am deceived. Then how is, I was talking to the Lord, how is that different from the thing you tell me that's a sin that is really not a sin, but um, what if I just came up with that? You know what I mean? Like, so... I told the Lord that he got some serious explaining to do. <laughs> That's what I told the Lord. I'm like, you know, but I, I think I, I came in the conversation with a nasty attitude, like, like stuck up pride, like pissed off, like, what the heck, Lord? What the heck? Like, you know, and so I'm like, okay, calm down because God will reject you. Humble yourself. In humility, that's how he comes. Is when you humble in humility. I'm like, okay, I need to change my mood, my my attitude, uh, go into the conversation with the Lord because I know he would reject me if I have that vain invitation or like the way I speak, you know. So I remember, I recall the scripture in the Bible. I'm like, okay, humbleness, humility. <laughs> I'm like, calm down. God's going to come. God's going to answer you. You need to have the right attitude. You need to understand. You need to be patient. Okay? So, in the dream today, well, time will tell from now till the end of the year. But um, definitely, um, let's see what's going on. But um, um, as far as my dream today, I had, okay, let's tell you in the beginning. It's it's really interesting. Um, I'll tell you snippets snippets of what I remembered um my cousin and her her daughter I was trying to make her an outfit almost like a wedding dress I was making it for myself but then I was um trying to sell I was trying to get rid of all my stuff because and I figure you know if I had more money I would stock on food and stuff for the people that was left behind because and then I'll probably use that money to that food to because they're a lot of people are not prepared they're not stock on food and water so um i'm gonna ha end up having to give them food and they're gonna come to me and they're gonna come for food and water and i cannot turn them down i don't know if i'm gonna be here to turn them down but um i'm still asking the lord whether we're gonna be you know anyways so i figure you know i make some money out of the clothes i have laying around stock on food with that and and give them that food when they come around asking me for food because I only have enough for my family and you know a few more people but I got I, I got like literally five thousand dollars worth of food y'all okay um food water and all that stuff and so um and I had a dream that God was telling me about charity you know um it's all about charity it's what you can give like Thanksgiving like you you're giving it's not what you can receive it's what you can give um the devil is what you can get 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 what you can gain 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 what you can have more 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 but God is what you can give charity 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 so um he's not liking those churches trying to collect and rob people's money and you know he don't need no more churches he needs you to speak the truth that's what he needs you to do a lot of bogus uh, uh faded church they're all faded okay they're not speaking the truth because the truth hurts and people don't like to hear the truth and and when they start speaking the truth they're afraid that you no know, people will start going to their uh organization because it's pretty rough the truth is rough okay uh it's salty like i told you like the scripture said i am we are the salt of the world but if the salt loses flavor how shall it be season season it'll be as good as nothing and they, people throw it on the ground and trample over it you know what i mean so um sugar sweet things are sins okay things you like things are that's pleasing to you and if you know god everything god is is salty and everything he asks you to do is salty that's one thing i learned about god so um 
yeah, I, I think God was telling me, just give this stuff, you know, if they want it, just give it to them. It just doesn't matter anymore. You're about to leave. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, just give, just give the stuff to your neighbor. Like, a lot of, I'm making some long dresses, you know, and uh, I've been selling them. I was gonna, like, I was just doing it for myself. And I was, like, you know, but then God's like, just give it to them. You know, you're about to leave. It doesn't matter. <laughs> you're gonna leave it behind anyway. At least you give it to somebody. At least you did a good deed, you know what I mean? Anyway, so, um, so what happened was... In the dream, I was trying to take this girl to the the fabric store, oh, my cousin, and she. But when she we got there, it it was closed. It was closed down, and we didn't end up purchasing anything. And on the way there, one of my tire burst. It broke. I'm like, snap! How the heck am I going to get out and go home? And so, lucky thing, I I saw my dad at the mall. It was a, like church a singing choir. Like he was just getting out mall situation. And I was like, Dad, oh, thank you, thank, thank God, you know, you're here. Can you please take us home? And then, so, uh, um, lucky thing, we found God on time to take us home. And um, this this uh, cousin of mine with her daughter, about three or four, might be representing my brother and sister in Christ, possibly the same lady that... Um, uh, I was praying for who knows but uh, definitely this represent my brother and sister in Christ I was trying to I was trying to help her and uh, do some charity for her you know I was tr you know God used parables you know it, it has much meanings when he tells you things it's layers and layers of meanings you know and so um, he I was trying to help her and I got I got you know I got I bust my tire trying to help her like I don't know like I and so what happened was lucky thing God was there to help us take us both home you know and um so thank thank goodness to that um and then the thing is um you know I was helping her and you know um you know this time I'm supposed to spend this time praying for myself but I'm praying for other people and it takes off time for praying for myself so I, I think that was what happened with that my my tire was busted or, or whatever is going on like like you know holding people up on top of the water it, it actually pulls me down a little bit you know what I mean like it doesn't pull me down that much but if I keep on praying for them and I forgot to pray for myself guess what I, I become under the water you know what I mean and and you know people you know I don't pray that much and I'm lazy to pray and and you know we're call to pray without ceasing and people don't pray without ceasing so um so with a few time that I pray with the Lord and I'm already praying a little bit as it is you know and it, if it's not on me then it's on another person and and it's gonna be you know uh and anyways I knew that I, I wasn't able to continue to pray for them because I know the I have to pay for myself first and I got basically I got stuff on my plate my family cousin and then you know in order like me then my family then my cousins nephew uncles and aunts and then my friends and YouTube people or whatever you know what I mean and so that's when I pray that's how the order I go and so um I know I can only pray a few times because I'm not that um you know like you know you know I'm not like like you know i'm trying to make praying a habit you know you should too and um i try to give at least a good hour to god every day or at least about that much and so in the dream we were at this place it was like a a a, a like a a grat like there was this truck that dropped us off it was like a picnic it was like we we're at the the grass and the the sidewalk well and then it would be and then we were just like we were just singing and praising the lord or something we were just like praise we were just singing and praising the lord and i was just weeping i was just crying and, and like lord forgive me all my sins i was just like crying i was being humility that's what i was being you know and and all the people well before that before this happened we were in this uh um hospital right and well before even before that there was uh this girl and this guy and uh i don't know what happened but they both got like abused like they got both beaten up for some reason and the guy seemed to have like more bruise on his face and he got like all beaten up for something i don't know maybe it's like i knew these guy and this guy and this girl was in a relationship 
um, their their um, uh, their girlfriend, boyfriend, or or something like that. Dash maybe husband, wife. I don't know, but they're like I know that they're boyfriend, and girlfriend, but they got beaten up by somebody. And I, I I'm thinking this is demons trying to beat them up because I like I told you, you're not fighting with your flesh. It's you're you're fighting spirit to spirit. So my my devil dude is telling me. To, uh, to feed me crap to get pissed at my uh, boyfriend or, or my husband and my husband or I don't have a husband but or my uh, boyfriend and his demons tell him crap to get mad at me so that's the fight there so I learned that I'm not fighting with him I'm fighting with his spirit and my spirit is fighting that's why it's I was telling people it's a spiritual welfare it's not like when I fight with my mom I repent I, I ask God for forgiveness because I know I'm not fighting with my mom I'm fighting the spirit that that's trying to persuade her to piss me off and and and, and my spirit is trying to like you know it's all a battle you know what I mean so you gotta learn the devil's tactic so what happened was I was in a room with those two and they became like a different person but then with a whole bunch of other group of people and that guy got pissed off and the nurse came in and tried to help and he just murdered the crap out of that I'm sorry he just murdered the, the crap out of that that nurse and he just put her through this vacuum that just like suck out her bones it was like decomposing her it was just like sucking out her bones and then she was becoming like noodles i don't know she was becoming like jello i don't know what it was weird it was really weird and the hospital was looking around and and trying to look for her but uh, nobody seemed to see her anywhere and and then she he was he was he wasn't given up on his uh, his pride or whatever he was doing his anger or whatever he his sinful way he was so trapped in it he decided to put her through the machine again to just murder crap out of her again you know and but we were there we we were with him and i knew that we were family we were family with him like we knew him we were family like if if we rot on him we, like you know like you know we i i didn't know why i didn't uh I, I was like, ooh, that's bad. Like I was bad, but I, I didn't. I, I was, I was just like, laid back. I was like, ooh, that's bad. But I, I didn't. I don't think I said anything. I was just going with the flow, you know. So what happened was, um, the cop, he, they caught him, and then guess what? Everybody, everybody went into jail. Okay, everybody went to jail. And this, 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 what is the what understanding the dream is? If I knew that's I know, okay, these either represent br b uh, brothers and sisters in Christ. I know that that's a sin, but if I don't speak up, I take part of their iniquity. I take part of their punishment. Is because I know from the Lord, he tell, He's telling me there are things that we're allowed to do and not allowed to do. And my responsibility is to speak up for the truth. And he, like, if I was to tell them, oh, if I went out and snapped on him and like in the dream, I'm like, hey, he killed uh the nurse then all that family would look at me like oh she's not our family she's just a rat on us you know what i mean but because because standing for the truth will make you unpopular and make you uh family hate you and 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 you basically you're going to be unpopular and to them you to them uh, they see you as a snitch but to god you did the right thing and it's all about it all comes down to justice you know what i mean it all came down to justice are are you trying to be justice or are you trying to flow with your family are you trying to be like comfortable in this world and and not to be uh uh called out you know what i mean like so if i if i knew that a sin if i didn't rat on, i didn't rat on him cuz i was like do whatever the heck you want to do with like this is your life your world i don't care but what i understand was like maybe homosexual if I knew that's a sin and I don't call them out I don't call them out hey that's a sin and they they're like they don't want to hear it because they're like annoyed with you or whatever like hey a foreign occasion is a sin hey this pride arrogance and this is sin there's a sin and I'm, I'm just like finding myself doing that I was asking the Lord I'm like I don't want to judge people is that judging people what was going on here Lord like like, because I, I, I know if I judge them, then, you know, you can rat them out without judging them, you know, like, before I was ratting them out, but I was judging them, but now I'm ratting them out, but not judging them, you know what I mean? Like, so what God is trying to tell me is, 
speak up the truth, you know, uh, so that you don't take part of their iniquity, you know what I mean? Like, um, what I have understand in the dream was, uh, because I didn't, I didn't rat him out because, you know, I figure he's kind of like my family. I kind of know him and, you know, we're kind of like in a pack together or whatever, what's going on. And, um, so guess what? We end up going to jail for three years and then all of us was revival. Like we were, we were let out and we were forgiven. All this bunch was forgiven. Like we're going to eventually get caught. God's telling me sin is, you're going to eventually get caught. It's a matter of time. Okay. Um, it's better that you confess and repent. Your punishment will be less. Okay. Lesson or it will be taken away or whatever. It always work out for the better. That's what God tells me. When you repent and confess, it works out for the better. But if you, if you still decide to dive into sin, um, it's not going to be good. And, and you know, uh, you got to, the thing is, you have to have a mind feel that you're going to you're going to put your spirit and heart and everything on the things of God. And I I know you're not going to be perfect, but it's it's all about your progress with the Lord. You're striving to be better. You know, it's past tense. So you're trying to be better. You're uh, you're trying to be better and with the help of God. Of course, you can't do it by yourself. So, you got to ask God to help a lot. But if you're if you have a mind feel like, "Oh, I'm going to repent and I'm going to go back into sin." You're you're no, I don't think you've been saved. If you think like that, then you I don't think you have sincerely give, um, given up the world for the Lord. If you, because that's what I used to think. I'm like, you know, uh, oh, whatever. I'm just going to do all the sin and I'm just going to sincerely repent and the Lord, the Lord's going to forgive me anyways. That's what I was thinking, okay? I had my mind field on that I was not trying to improve myself you know i was and so the, what we were doing was we were taking advantage of god's blood and we don't know that um god that no you guys you know his blood is for those times that we, you know we're trying to be good but then we fall and slip that's when that's the time for his blood you know like when we we're trying to be good but sometimes we fall into temptation we didn't mean to but we fall so we repent but we're trying to be better you know that that's where the blood is is not to for us to take advantage of and i had dreams that people was taking advantage of god and god's blood and his things and, and his what his blessings you know and so um, that just kind of answered my prayer. I mean, like a couple days ago when I was like, it was a while ago. Um, but, uh, I need to speak up the truth, <sighs> whether I like or not. If, if I don't want to intake of their iniquity and their punishment, uh, like going to jail, I better speak up. I, I better depart myself from that. You know what I mean? So, I, I, you guys, God is so just. I'm just letting you know how just he is, okay? And so what happened was all of us was in a, um, like, a beautiful uh, picnic place, right? Like, we were just worshiping and praising the Lord. And all of a sudden, all, you know, I was crying and weeping. All those other people, that those group, the fam the brother and sister in Christ with me was in that place. Uh, we were dropped at this place, you know, and I was like, where the heck did they went to? I think they just like fade off and they just kind of let go. They didn't care about the situation that much and praising and repenting and all the crazy thing. I was just praising. I was just repenting. I was just getting it deep with the Lord. And those people were just doing it in the beginning and it just slowly faded and they just slowly went away. Like, like where, where the heck is everybody? You know what I mean? Like the, the group, the, the brother and sister in Christ that I was with. So, God, a lot of people is not hanging on. And God is telling you, you got to hang on to the very end. God say, endure to the end. Okay, you got to endure. You got to keep going. Uh, run your race. Don't give up. Okay? Because when you give up, you're just accepting hell. And why would you want to go to hell? You are already trying so far. Might try, try all the way, right? So, what happened was, it became like a, 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 um, like a stage well, not a stage, but a place where there was a stage and there were lots of seats, like a, a like a con concert, but not a little, little, little gathering, like a uh, 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 audium uh, or, or uh, you know what I'm talking about, studio. Well, yeah, and so I was sitting, <clears throat> and um, there was one of my friends that I know back ago. We used to be close, but not anymore. Um. But I kind of know her, you know, we still talk here and there. But in the dream, 
well, she's a doctor. She's a doctor and her husband's a doctor. I think she represents Jesus Christ and, or the Holy Spirit and her husband. Her husband and her represent Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit or something like that. So what happened was <clears throat> she was giving me an invitation. I was praying to the Lord like, I need an invitation. Uh, I, I want to I wanna know that I'm making the rapture and blah, blah, blah. So finally, I got myself an invitation and she's like, look in the back like it was rewritten it was rewritten like another date another time or like it was rewritten uh, all i know is i wasn't supposed to look in the back or it was rewritten i think it was rewritten it was like a really sloppy job it was rewritten i don't know if god's saying he's rewritten that delayance or whatever going on but i got an invitation and you know how God, I tell you God is rich. God, everything really belongs to him. He's rich. Like my friend in the dream, she was a doctor and she was rich. And so she was, she was, it was Christmas and she had Christmas presents for every. She has gifts for everybody. And I, I a few brothers and sisters in Christ have dreamed about Jesus giving gifts, passing out gifts and stuff. And oh my goodness, the gift was very, everybody had a big old box and inside the box it was worth like hundreds and hundreds expensive gifts <laughs> hundreds and, and thousands of dollars I'm like dang this girl is balling you know like well she had invited me i knew this was jesus and i just knew in the dream she was jesus or the holy spirit or something she was making it was time she was uh, announcing bring up all the gifts and i'm assuming the the angel was the one who was stocking up all the gifts and was getting ready to give out like whoever had like an invitation will get a gift like like anybody that knew her anybody that knew her as a friend had an invitation had a gift like anybody that knew God had an invitation had a gift a lot of people that was in the ceremony didn't know her they, they they were participating in in the this event and this and that but they didn't know her on a personal level so guess what they didn't have a gift I, I don't know but I, I at least I think majority of the people have the gift okay but I, I think that you know um I, I I really don't know but the one that really had a gift, the more you knew God, the bigger and expensive your gift was. That, that's what all I knew. Like, the more you know God and obey his words. And uh, <clears throat> so, <clears throat> what I, what I, you know, I knew that I had a pretty decent sized gift. I knew it was coming for me too. And, uh, and my father was up there. It was, you know, and, uh, and so they're, they are about to, they are about to, uh, start the ceremony the uh, this relates around it seems like around Christmas time so I don't know if God is telling me with that invitation that it is rewritten to another date as in around Christmas time or what's going on but um I really don't know what this dream means but um like it was the the invitation was rewritten like it was it was it was rewritten like on the back like this is because, you know, God can change his mind it, depending on the repentance, the repentance of the people. But, you know, um, it's like if people repent, God will delay more time. But, um, you know, it, it's already starting. You, you see the birth pain, you know, he can only he can only pull it like a, a little bit longer. He can't pick, pull it like a couple years before he was pulling it. I believe he pulled it up to 10, 13 years, y'all. Okay. He's like, this is going, you know, he's, he pulled it up to 13 years. Okay. The flight was pulled to 13 years because of the repentance of people. But then now people are like, ah, it's not happening. People are talking about it all the time. It's not happening. So they're falling apart. Okay. They're falling apart. And, uh, they're, they're, that's why I see people leaving because they're like, oh, this it's all baloney and, you know, and this girl is not true and, and, and she's not coming. But they don't know that God can only pull so much more now. Before he was pulling a lot. Now he can only pull a little bit more. So you know the time is, is even closer. Okay. So I, I think he's pulling it till possibly end of this year. But I did have a date of March. But I don't know what March is of 2014. But definitely the rapture has to be some from, from now till March of next year. But I don't know what's happening on 
the midnight of tonight, I saw a whole bunch of a vision of demons coming out of the ground. I don't know if it was spiritual or physical, but I went an around and anointed my home just for the heck of it. I did a prayer over the olive oil and just anointed the doors and windows and said, this is, a, you know, no demons shall enter these doors in the name of Jesus. And I just went and anointed my house. Just, I don't know. That was just, uh, that was out there. I just, I don't know. I just draw, saw that vision. I was like, man, I just, just do it. You know, I gotta stay safe and sorry. I'm, I, I'm that type of girl. I gotta stay safe and sorry. So, um, a lot of people are not hanging around for the ride, you know, and I, yesterday I was basically, I was in a, almost about to fall asleep, but and then right in the, like, m merge of me falling asleep, I saw myself on the roller coaster ride, like, well, like we're about to go on a ride okay a thrilling ride okay yeah like a ride of our life you know what i mean and i was like ah oh, smiling and i saw myself wake up i was like whoa what the heck was that that was really interesting so um a lot of people was not hanging on for the ride they're, they're dropping out uh, because because god is giving people more time to end but i really think this year is it you guys like but i was I'm, I'm like, Lord, you better come soon because I cannot sit around and wait for a year like this. You know, I wanted to, but my family can't keep supporting me like this. This is not healthy. You know what I mean? So, um, definitely, um, something's happening tonight at midnight. I don't know. Demon on spiritual realm is being unleashed. What's going on or, or spiritual or the rapture even. I don't know earthquake tsunami it can be anything okay the sign god say the signs are in heaven look in the signs in heaven <clears throat> so um i just want to tell you guys god bless something's happening get yourself ready there's no more time for foolishness there's no more time for marriage or thinking about dating or even working at this time okay there's no more there's no more time for working for nonsense focus don't be selfish and spend some time with the lord in deep consecration and and prayer and meditation with god and think just think just think on the words just meditate you know what meditate is right just think on your thoughts and think on the answers think on god and just let it manifest itself you know let god manifest through the prayers because when you pray when I pray, I realize now what I'm doing more is I meditate. Like, I'm thinking really hard, like, on God and on the answers and stuff. And it just slowly comes into picture, you know. Uh, you But it takes time. And a lot of people, guess what? They don't have time. They have everything but time for God. And so that's very sad, you know. And, um, you know, I, you know. I, I can only pray for people a couple times, you know, but I can't pray for them all the time. I got, you know, things on my plate to pray for. And um, I'm just asking you guys, please don't be selfish. Fast if you can. Fasting will help you hear the Lord better. Um, That's it. Bye.